everybody. Welcome to First Glance with Jody Vance. I'm very psyched about this next conversation because if you're like me and when somebody starts talking about storage and AI and terabytes, gigabytes, zettabytes, what's a zettabyte? We're about to find out because we have Next Optic Technology CEO, Paul McKenzie with us. Paul, so good to meet you. Very nice to meet you, Jody. Thanks for having me. Really excited to be here. Well, welcome aboard. We love talking about all things sort of futuristic and tech here on First Glance with Jody Vance. I'm a little bit of a, a struggling tech wannabe. I want to understand it better than I do. And certainly as things grow and progress with AI and um, just the whole holograms and, and just in, in so many of the discussions we have, our computers and our storage and our cloud is ever growing and and I believe that you can shed some light on what the future of that looks like as your company specializes in AI computer vision solutions and and data massive data what is a zettabyte oh <laughs> I was afraid you were gonna deep dive with me on the tech side I am the CEO I I, I founded this company a number of years ago uh, but I, I'm surrounded by brilliant tech people <laughs> and I would they would be better to answer that question. I love um, that about you. Yeah, but wait yeah. a minute. I mean, bless. So you're the business guy and you surround yourself with the smart people that are going to forward what your business brings to the table. So I, di I dig that about you. A straight shooter on top of uh, a brilliant, uh, I think, perspective company to invest in when we look at what you're bringing to the table. So what's your elevator talk for Next Optic? Uh, sure. Yeah. Well, you know, we, we've had, we've had a rather long evolution, but really, just in the last couple of years, we're just honing in on artificial intelligence and specifically for imaging, uh, and then more specifically for data compression. So you were saying earlier, Jody, that you know you're you're, you're kind of you, you're maybe a wannabe tech geek or you're a little overwhelmed by the tech 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 world and that's true for all of us i mean we yeah we they're all, all people only have uh, so much bandwidth to get into the details on very you know finite areas in, in our lives and we all benefit from it we all use it we all utilize it uh but we don't fully understand it just like an automobile we don't we don't all understand how it works or how the engines yeah. run or how everything does but but we can still appreciate it we can still enhance our lifestyle with it and um and so on so um, what we do specifically is um, we make artificial intelligence for uh, imaging by stripping out what's called image noise. So if you're watching them, if you're at the movie theater or if you're at home watching Netflix or you're watching a YouTube video or TikTok or whatever you're you're you're, you're doing, a lot of in that what's in that image can be extracted and it will not denigrate your experience from watching a film or 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 getting the data that you want from you know, the experience you want from these images. So that's called uh, image noise. So there's a lot, of, a lot of excess in an image. So we have algorithms that strip out that excess noise. And there's a significant amount of benefits that we uh, uncovered when we were able to do that. Just to like back what? it up a little bit, yeah. we started as a lens company and our lenses were so powerful that the... Um, they required, you know, image stabilization, and we started to create our own software for that. And that's what led us into this, um, now a deep dive into artificial intelligence. Wow. So when you're, when you're talking about the noise, just simplify that to, for, in, for the lay person, is noise when the difference between uh, standard def and high def, and then it goes to like the next level? Or is it no, a it's not necessarily the de uh, definition. In fact, when we strip out image noise, a lot of times we can move things up in, in um, resolution. We can give it a much better and higher. So we can move some um, some things from you know two K up to four K just by stripping out the noise. Wow. So it doesn't it doesn't extract from the quality. In fact, frequently, not in every circumstance, but frequently, it enhances the uh, the clarity and the and the quality of the image. So a lot of times when you're filming, you know, that's the environments aren't perfect. The lighting isn't great. And then, and, and there's different. Welcome to my life. Welcome to my <laughs> yeah, life, Paul. Yeah. My exactly. time in television, I'm like, this lighting is not good or. Yeah. 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 So, so, you can so that's, um, that's where we come in. That's where we help. That's where we, 
uh, work to um, improve image quality. And in the process, and this was one of these, you know, revolutions for us, which came by accident, you know, as our uh, head of our tech team, Kevin Gordon out of Calgary, as he, he, he refers to it as a happy accident. <laughs> That's the fact that in doing this, when we strip out the SSXX noise, you can compress the data. You can compress the size of the files or the videos. Yes. And so if we didn't have data compression, we wouldn't have a Netflix. We wouldn't, you know, we wouldn't be able to store data. We wouldn't, um, uh, YouTube and TikTok, they just wouldn't be available, uh, wouldn't work because these file sizes would be so big. So massive. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. when we strip out the noise and then they go through their regular compression channels, it, it, was much more effective when we when we add our solution in front of the chain. So we can do it right off the device or right onto a right off a camera. We can do it in the cloud. Um, yeah. and we can do it in you know in people's internal uh, setups and systems or or, yeah. or cloud based. Yeah. Let's uh, let our viewer know N as in Nancy X O is the TSE Venture Exchange uh, stock symbol for Next Optic Technology N E X. O-P-T-I-C, technology. Uh, we are with Paul McKenzie, the CEO. Let's talk a little bit about your team. You mentioned um, Happy Accident in Calgary. I'm going to forever call you Happy Accident in Calgary if you're okay. watching this. Hi, how are you doing? Um, yeah. Like, how did the team come together? What You said the sort of the impetus of of the growth to what you, where you're at right now. Who Who's on your team? Who's around your table? Sure. Well, we have a, we have a small team um, of uh, very... Brilliant, brilliant guys, all, all Canadian, um, all, all out of a variety of uh, Canadian universities, but uh, the primary source is from U of A. So a lot of people don't know this, Jody, but the, uh, the U of A, uh, University of Alberta, is one of the top AI universities on the planet. And it ranks Did number not three know that. Or, or number five, depending on, you know, which, which category of AI, but they are, yeah, brilliant, brilliant uh education for AI and so it's producing a lot of great engineers but then also we have some uh, we have a gentleman out of uh, SFU here in British Columbia and then we have a gentleman from out of Ontario so we've got a, um, a small team but brilliant young guys brilliant guys and um, they put this together and we started to uh, file patents on these um, algorithms are patentable you can patent these things, and um, so we're continue to we're batting a thousand on our on on receiving patents, and we continue to file Great. and write and create patents on our technologies. And we've attracted some big, um, you know, partnerships. Uh, Nvidia, for example, big um, uh, semiconductor company, one of the biggest and one of the most innovative, and then also Qualcomm, Arm out of the UK, another yeah. one. So they see the potential that we have. Uh, they give us a lot of engineering time to build and integrate into their semiconductors. And that's really a way that we can deliver and, and, and get into our customers and also people find out about us quicker. So those are the advantage of those partnerships. But the heavy lifting um, on our on our development comes from our Canadian team. I think so, that's so cool. And so many people are looking to invest uh, in Canada, Canadian investors wanting to keep their money in Canada or even North America wide wanting to uh, to keep things tight with so much uncertainty elsewhere on the planet. Um, it, it, it's something that I'm seeing as I do these interviews on First Glance with Jody Vance. Um, I want to talk specifically about some of your um, more flagship products. Is there something that you can give for an example to our viewer of, of you know, what if you if you have the opportunity to just briefly tell somebody what you're about, what is the product? Sure. Okay. okay. Well, the one um, we our, our brand is uh, Alice, which is uh, acronym All Light Intelligent Im Imaging Solutions, and uh, and then a sub brand under that is what we call Next Compress. And Next Compress is what I'm talking about, where we compress specifically compress data. Yeah. Um, it, but there's other um, we're, we're onboarding other clients uh, that are using us for um, ca very small micro camera lenses. So that, for example, are used in uh, surgical procedures. So endoscopic wow. surgery or these uh, knitting needle type devices with a with a, a tiny, tiny camera lens on the end. And the advantage is for the for the doctor and for the patient is you it's it's not not. Uh, intrusive. It's lightly intrusive, I should say. You can get in and out in a day surgery. 
You're not going right. to really need extended stay in a hospital on crutches and recovery time after that. So those little tiny cameras on the end, um, they don't let much light in. So when when we run their uh, images through our software, which are our artificial intelligence software, which is similar to the next compress, just with variables, um, that's where we're taking them up to 4K. So we've taken that industry up to 4K uh, for the first time. And the group we're working with is out of New Hampshire uh, in the U.S. They're called Pristine Surgical, and they're a really up and comer, uh, strong group. And we're going to expand, um, expect to expand into other products that they have as well. And then on that note, um, another uh, growing segment of the uh, medical imaging industries are these capsule cameras. So something the size of a vitamin pill, and you would swallow that. And they uh, photograph what the you know your team your surgical group wants to see, and 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 your doctors want to want to know about. And they wear a pack. Uh, the patient wears a pack on the side, and all the data is recorded. So again, we're 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 giving them much better uh, um, resolution. So that's a group out of Korea we're working with, and we hope to be have them on a com fully commercial side with us. So. Yeah, two spots there. Um, the That's awesome. The compression and the, yeah, these micro cameras. And there's so much more we can do, but we just, with such a small team, we really need to focus. Yeah. 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 Make it happen one at a time. Honestly, it gives me a little bit of the, the goosebumps uh, when you're talking about these advancements that, that could, you know, drastically change um, these procedures. Having had arthroscopic surgery uh, before um, and, and, to know that that is improving and increasing and how, how much that would mean to the patient, how much that means to the stress on, on a healthcare system, like that alone is, is, is an epiphanal uh, piece of, of this puzzle. And, and the swallowing of the pill, wasn't there a movie where people were inside a capsule that went moving through a body? Yeah, and right. so I think I'm, I'm I think dating was, myself, but as a small child. Yeah, there were two, there were, I think there was a remake. I think it was a Disney film, I believe. Anyway, yeah. I think you're right. Yeah, yeah. Um, so anyways, that's that's super fascinating. So again, NXO, N is in Nancy, XO uh, on the TSE Venture Exchange is Next Optic Technology. And it sounds like a lot of applications here with the AI um, computer vision CV uh, solutions that that sort of handle and parse vast amounts of data if I'm if I'm getting this correctly. You are, you've got it exactly right. Yep. You got it correct. So yep. when somebody wants to find out more about what you're doing, how do they get in touch with your small team? Like you're super busy, you're doing all these deals. You're, you know, it's the growth is, is quite something in a time where things seem to be tightening up. You sound like you almost have to rein in your growth because you've got so much opportunity with what you're patenting here. How does somebody get in touch with you and ask, you know, the questions on behalf of a prospective uh, shareholder or investor? Sure. Yeah, they can uh, reach out on our on our website. Uh, we've got numbers and contacts for our investor relations department and um, and access. You know, they can get access to other people in the company. Uh, yeah. our, our website is nexoptic.com, n e x o p t i c dot com. And uh, yeah, we've got um, a lot of a lot of in, in, information on us there, and and can reach out to our um, our investor relations department. And uh, yeah. 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 And the tech team that's going to tell me what the hell a zettabyte is, because I'm yeah, like, they, well, yeah, mega, well, giga, terra. <laughs> hey, Paul, next time study up for no, study up. <laughs> next time bring beer and study <laughs> yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you for your time today, and please do circle back and keep us updated on what's happening with Next Optic. We we appreciate your time. Oh, it's great to be here, Jody. Thanks for having me. Mm -hmm.